Hey everybody, and this is my wedding vlog for this week. It is a little later in the day, it's probably about 7.30 now, I was going to film it earlier, but I had to run to the hospital. Um, I'm okay, if you, got it, if you noticed it on Twitter, I would mentioned it on Twitter, but um, I got in there and realized how full it was because as soon as it rains up here in Canada, apparently everyone freaks out and goes to the hospital or gets in an accident or something, and I'm definitely one of those people that... If I need to go to the emergency room or the walking clinic or something, for some reason, it's like I get injured on a Friday after like 5 o'clock because that's when like the clinics are closed and the hospital waiting room is bigger and longer. So I got there and was just like, no, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to go again and schedule an appointment with the clinic on Monday. So I'm just going to wait around and the pain's not that bad anymore. So that's my little update on that. Um... For the wedding vlog today, we're going to go over a few little, um, just a few things, a little bit of everything though. So, um, as you know or don't know, I guess, in 12 days I am leaving to Arizona to get some more planning done, which is super exciting, and, um, so I've started filming a few videos that I'm going to try to put up while I'm down there that are going to be pre-recorded, so they aren't going to be up-to-date videos, and, um, the wedding vlogs won't be... Um, actually one of them might be there, but I might not have one for the week after because I'm going to pre-film one of them. Um, for the first week I'm gone, for the second week I might not be there. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out yet. So, um, we're going to speak about a few things. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I've picked up for the wedding. Um, I've got some ribbon here. I've got them in both sheer and in a solid. And this is our, this is one of the lighter colors that we're using for our wedding. And you will kind of see these around on my projects now, now that I've picked them up. Um, I've also picked up these really cool things. I picked up a jar, and this is just, um, I'm testing something out for our centerpieces, so I picked up this, and this is going to be my little tester. And I also picked up these things, and these things are little lights that glow in water. So if you can't see that, woo, these are white ones. I wanted to try to get teal ones, but um, we started talking about a few things, and um, I think we're going to go with white and then just go with um, different color water gems. And if you don't know what water gems are, I picked up a pack here. These are what they look like when they're dry. Um, they absorb water and they're just like these little squishy balls. So um, you're going to see a video on this stuff coming up. This is like a preview to some videos that are coming. I've also picked up these things and they're microbeads and they were on sale at Michael's. And I was like, I'm going to pick these up because right now... Um, everyone's doing like the caviar nails which are really like really cute and very fun and stuff but people buy like the kits from Sephora and they're like 40 bucks for like the nail polish and then the beads and it gives you like this little thing of beads whereas I got this for like four bucks that whole thing of beads so I can reuse them and I got them in my colors just in case I didn't know I might use them for other things too you never know so that was a thing um, I've also picked up these for testers and the video will actually be out um this weekend or this week, sometime this week, I'm going to have videos on um, custom napkins. And so I picked up some napkins just for testing it out on. So that was a thing. Um, what else? That's all that I really have around this area. And some invitation stuff that I'm going to be working on after. But what I do want to talk about in this video, what is, this video is actually about today, is um, wedding um, wedding shows and bridal shows and all that fun stuff. And so um, why I think they're important, wedding shows are super important for the reason that they're fun to go to and you get kind of um, inspiration. And we've talked about inf inspiration a few times. And, and wedding shows are a great way to find out what you want at your wedding. They give you really cool ideas, really neat things. Um, if you're looking for like people to run your venue, so if you're looking for photographers, there's tons of photographers at these events. Um, there's tons of like limo drivers and rental car drivers, and um, there's a, just a bunch of things that you would use for your wedding. And and so they're a great place to go. This might get a little loud in a second. I went to the one around me. It's Deer Creek. Oh, sorry, I just dropped something. Went to this, the Deer Creek one, and this is the big package I got now. You don't get everything right away. They kind of give you the bag with a few little essentials. And then as you go to each venue, you pick out, you pick up a bunch of stuff. So, oh, let's get that down and out of the way. 
So you pick up things like business cards. So you get a lot of business cards. I got one for Coco Cakes Company and Gotcha Covers, Table Linens. So, so there's a lot of cake companies. And then you got the information and the website so you can check them out. And then it gives you a bunch of stuff to research on as well as like flowers. So I got a flower card. Um, I got a $50 off coupon towards a wedding gown at Friend, uh, Forever Friends Bridal. Um, so you get coupons as well for things. I've already got my wedding dress, so that's no use for me. You get little, um, test things, so like fun things. You know how, like, people have the bubbles? Ah! So they give you these so you can see what they're like, I guess, when they make them. Ah! Don't blow into the camera! <laughs> so you get stuff like that. Um, I also got this one. It is a KMS California. It's a moist repair hair conditioner. So I got that. So you get some free samples as well, which is the best part is they always have like cupcakes and like free cakes to try and desserts to try. And it's a lot of, it's the, their way of like advertising, um, in a positive note. Cause when you try a cake and you're like, oh, this is delicious. Like I want to have this as my wedding cake. They've sold you. Right. And so, and it doesn't cost them much. I also got this body bliss boutique or boutique, um, certificate. It's $25 off and regular priced services. So this is really cool. Uh, this is oh, something in Whippy, I guess. And um, so this is really cool. Um, it gives you an expiry date and all that stuff. But I mean, you can use this. You don't even have to be a bride to use some of this stuff. So if you go with your friends or your mom or whatever and they pick up something too, then at least they get something cool out of it. So $25. I think they do nails as well, which is really cool because it, for nails it costs like, what, $30? So you're really only paying like $5 plus tip. So, cool things like that. Um, so, wedding photography and video. So, you get a lot of pamphlets and stuff like this. And they have all the pricing and all that stuff. And it gives you, like, an outline. So, if you're looking for photography, they give you lots of options for that. Um, they give you their specials and some... Um, some events, depending on how big the bridal event that is that you go to, will have, like, um, you get certain discounts just for attending that event. So it'll say, like, oh, you saved this much for attending this event or whatever, whatever mumbo-jumbo they want to tell you. So I have tons of billions and billions of coupons and, and cards and everything else because we went to every single spot and so... Yeah. <laughs> so when you go to every single table, like, it gets overwhelming, but still... And, oh, they also have event planning, so event coordinators and stuff usually show up, so, um, they can offer their services, and, um, what else? Cleaning centers, Teragram photographer, she's amazing, by the way, so if I actually know her, I played baseball with her, so this girl is a phenomenal photographer, so if you are in Canada, in the Toronto area, GTA region, um, definitely look up, uh, teragramphoto.com. Um, she has a whole bunch of, like, really cool packages and stuff, but she is amazing, and she is such a nice girl, and she's great to work with. So, if you are from the Toronto GTA area, definitely look up her. I will link that below for you guys, if you are from here. Um, there's also some weird things they have, actually. They have a lot of, um, they have, I don't know if this is just recently, I, because a few of them I had been to, it wasn't in that, but, um, there was, like, a mortgage and real estate people in there and I guess because they figure once you get married you buy a house so I guess they're trying to get like the heads up in it so that's some stuff you may see and it might benefit you and whatever else you are into oh maybe I should say this <laughs> so um what is this the welcomewagon.ca is kind of like they do a whole bunch of events and stuff, and so there is, I know it's going to sound lame because a lot of you aren't, but there's a 50 plus showcase on June 12th of this year um, in Whitby at the Class Act Dinner Theater, and maybe I'll take my mom to, oh I can't, I'm not even in, well, I will be in the country, but I'm working that night, but I'll be in, I won't be in the country the next day. But if you go to uh, welcomewagon.ca, I think that they have, I think that's the website that has a whole bunch of like of the up and coming events and stuff and they're the ones that organized this wedding venue thingy that I went to. Now I've been to three already, uh, wedding shows I should say or bridal shows or whatever. I was in one in Mississauga, um, one here, like one in Whippy. Um, where was the other one? I think the other was out in Toronto, like downtown Toronto. But there is, Toronto has their big 
bridal show usually uh, January 3rd and 4th so I didn't go to that one because I didn't know <laughs> at that time so I will probably go to that next year and I'm gonna try to film that for you guys so I know that's a while away but at the same time like these will still be running so you know um, so yeah they also give you a bunch of like so look I don't know if you guys can see from there, but I know they have like little setups here, and that's what she does. She does this is uh, Annie Lane Events and Decor, so she does the actual events. And but when you go to the events, they actually have some of the tables set up of what they're gonna look like. And the one I went to at Deer Creek had them set up in their different seasons. So in each of the corners of the hall, they had like set up for like each season and some inspiration and some ideas for you. And it was really cool, and I thought it was like so awesome. And they always have um, wedding shows, like wedding dress shows usually at all of them. I think the two two of them that I went to definitely had um, wedding dresses. So that was kind of cool. Um, you also get something like this. This is from Alfred Angelo's like, collection or whatever. And it's just a whole bunch of like dress ideas for bridesmaids and all that stuff. So you get a bunch of magazines. And these are really helpful when you're trying to decide what you want your bridesmaids to wear. Um, more discounts. Um... This is really cool too. Like, this is uh, Van Bell's wedding. I, it's in Bowmanville. Um, they have like their whole information of how much things cost, and that's so important to know because you're gonna have to start quoting anyways. This is like the real world qu quoting because I mean, this is how you, we used to get quotes from things is when you went to places and got them written down on paper. Now I do a lot of my quoting for things online, so this is like the first time I'm like, oh, like now I have a legit quote on how things cost. Like, it's goofy. <laughs> But, um, what else was in here? So, yeah, you get billions and billions of, like, these things. It goes on and on and, oh, more men's magazines and all this stuff. You get samples. So, this is a sample of their napkins or whatever. And it was, like, 50 for $12 for a beverage size napkin to get them custom or something. And where was that? That was at, um, idoforyou.ca. Sorry, all these websites are Canadian, but... The show was for Canada, and so that was stressful. <laughs> um, what else? Makeup stuff, and they even have like the blackberry like um, little square thing. I don't know what it's called. Oh, and then there was like this map thing. So yeah, so this was the 2012 spring wedding show. Is what I, this is what this one was. I just threw out the bag for my last the last one I went to because I just. There was a bunch of flyers that I was like, I'm not going to use half these. And I probably won't use half of these because I'm going to be doing all my planning in America, which kind of is a downer, to be honest, because they just had, Arizona just had their wedding show. And of course, I can be there because I'm stuck up here still. So, um, it was, it's kind of a bummer because I would have loved to go and kind of get some insight from there, but... You can only do what you can do, and that's why it's so nice when you have the actual um, wedding in your location, or at least in your country, because then you can get, like, updates and stuff about, like, what's going on, and who's in your area you can pick, and stuff like that, so I didn't get that privilege, which is A-OK, -okay, and that's the negative about um, going places, but um, that's fine. That's fine. I figure... Um, I'm going to try to see if I can find um, a show in New York or whatever that's coming up or maybe one early next year just to go to them because they're really fun and it'd be nice to see one in the States and how they do it. So um, if you've ever gone to a wedding show in America, I don't know how old you guys are and who's watching this, but if you've gone to one, let me know. Like, did you guys like it? Was it almost like this where you get a bunch of flyers and papers and trying cupcakes and coupons and all that stuff <laughs> so let me know because I do want to know and I'm curious because maybe I should find out before I actually do one but um that's going to be my update for today um so definitely go check out wedding shows I'm going to link a few um wedding shows in my blog because I'm going to do a vlog a blog today I can't speak I just can't just can't speak today <laughs> So I'm going to do one today and I'm just going to update with a few like really good websites for, I'm going to try to even find some in the states because I did apply to like be subscribed to stuff on my email for America so um, I will link some of those in the little description bar below for the link to my blog which will link you to all the other links and sites and all that other stuff so 
yeah, that will be a thing. I will probably put up the blog tomorrow because I am tired. If you can't tell, I keep on doing this with my hair and I do that when I'm tired. I don't know why. Like, you know how people have tics or weird things that they do? Anyways, that's my thing. That's I think a lot of girls play with their hair, but that's one of the things I do. So, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys actually have, um, I'm going to do another question and answer thing um, sometime early next week. And it's going to be like a pre-wedding vlog to next week's wedding vlog because the next one is going to be kind of long. I feel it. I feel like it's going to be long. We'll see. I don't know. But it's the one before I leave. So, um, I should probably make it long, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I will answer all your questions. I've already taken a whole list. I think I have about seven or eight that I have to answer now and one I missed from the first time. And, yeah. So, I have tons of stuff going on and I only have like a week and a half to do it. Ah! <laughs> So we'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye!